What's up guys? We're working on the 34 today, the Tom Sellers Coupe, uh, trying to get the, the chassis finished up, got the motor mounted in it. Also put the transmission, torque tubes all hooked up, emergency brake is mounted. Uh, what else? Radiators mounted. Pretty much, pretty much ready to go. Uh, we're waiting on, we're waiting on the carburetors. We're waiting on the carburetors to show up. Um, I ordered some brand new Stromberg 81s for the motor. It's just a stock flathead motor with adjustable tappets in it. And uh, we got it running a couple weeks ago and uh, ran really good. So I'm just kind of putting it together. This whole build is gonna, just gonna be a sweaty 1934 5.1 coupe build. The body is, I'll show you a picture. The body is an old uh, local race car from around here in my hometown, Muskogee. And uh, I found the family and they have a few photos they've shared with me. So we're gonna take that body and we're gonna put it on this chassis, put a floor back in it. It didn't have any floor because when they made it for a race car, they gutted it completely. So we're gonna put a floor back in it, put uh, door inner skins in it and get it mounted back to this chassis so we can go drive around the summer. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna put headlights on. I'm going to show you guys how to do a really simple way to make headlight mounts. This is just really easy. So let's get going. I'm starting off with a Model A headlight bar. So I've cut this in half. I'm going to mount these. You can see the flange there. On them. That's just a stock Model A 2829 uh, headlight bar. Funny story. This uh, this one shows a buck on it. We were at, me and dad were at the pre-war swap meet. And I asked this guy, I said, is that right, buck? He said, that's my buddy's stuff. He said, whatever it's marked, it's what it is. I said, all right, I'll take it. Get on down the road a little bit. Get back to the truck. Look through my stuff again. And I see that on the backside. <laughs> so I ended up getting a good deal on it. I guess he wasn't too mad. He's probably gotten over it by now. Anyway, uh, we cut this in the middle. We're gonna mount these flanges to the frame rails up here, right up by the by the uh, front cross member. So we'll get a little close up and we'll show you that. But right now I'm just gonna bolt these up. You can use regular bolts, or I've got some, some uh, simple carriage bolts, because these holes here are square. So I'm just gonna use some carriage bolts and put them in there. You can get these headlight bars pretty reasonable at swap meets. A lot of guys yank them off because they don't run fenders. But uh, you can you can buy them pretty reasonable, like this one I bought for a buck. But uh, usually I find them for twenty dollars or less. I try to scoop them up when I find them. They're always good to have around. We're gonna run the, uh, the full hood and the inner fenders. So what I'm gonna end up having to do is I'm gonna have to uh, notch the inner fenders for the headlight bar, which won't be no big deal. Okay, those are mounted. You can see we got them. You can see they're centered up there. them out there on the frame horn. Pretty simple, nothing nothing major here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat those up and bend them around. We are running a 903J headlight, which is a shallow bucket. So when we get done, that should sit right about right in there. We're just going to heat that up, twist it around. Let's get the torch. This will be pretty simple, but you guys can see how to do it. All I'm going to do is heat, heat this right here. 
right below that mount. And I'm just gonna use this handle. That's why I left it, basically it's a handle. That's why I cut it right in the middle. I'm gonna use it to move it around and pull it. And I'll probably, I may end up having to get my, my, uh, my pipe wrench to get a hold of that to twist it because it's, right now it's laid kind of at an angle and I need to bring it up so I can mount that headlight. We're going to heat it up first and see, see where it goes when we pull it around. Heat it up until it's red hot, and then that way we can manipulate it. What I did was I heated that up in a certain spot there where I wanted it and then started moving that heat back and forth up that and pushing it down. That gives me a, you can see it right here. It gives me a sweeping little curve there on that, uh, on that mount. That way it doesn't look like 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reheat this back up, it cooled a little bit on me while I was getting a wrench. I'll we'll heat this back up a little bit and then we'll twist that mount there to where it's flush and we'll turn it that way basically so that that headlight mount will be flat. It's still pretty hot so it shouldn't take long here. And I'm probably going to bend it a little bit more down. Just a little bit, not a whole lot, just a little bit. See it moving. So keep heating it. 
and just barely give it a little bit of pressure. That way it'll move on its own. Hard to do both hands at the same time there. But it didn't have to be really flat because your headlight bucket cup, the cup on the bottom of it can swivel a little bit. So that looks pretty good there. Let's push that down a little bit. That looks pretty good. Cool. Let that cool a little bit. I'm going to hit this one real quick now. Hit this one with the heat. Try to get these as symmetrical as possible. So, what I'll do is I'll match this one. I'll bend it down and get it level the same and get the bar pointing in the same direction, the same height as the other one over there. And that way, we don't, uh, when we get our headlights on here, they don't look like one's shooting off in the space and one's pointing at the ground. Start to turn red now. I can feel it moving. I'm going to move that heat a little bit down here. That way we get that sweeping curve again. We don't get a 90 on it. And there we go. We're pushing it down. See that heat moving off of there when I let it, when I move it. It's kind of funny how that heat will move real easily. I'm just barely putting enough pressure on this for it to move. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. And that will give me that sweeping bend there. Try to get those in there. A little bit warmer here. Let's see if we can twist that up. Yeah, there we go. It's a moving, barely. that frame rail that looks pretty close let's see let's see what we're at here 26 and 3 eighths 26 and a half Going the wrong way. I need to go down. Shoot. There we go. Twenty six three eighths. Just a little bit. Let's see where that's at. 
six and a half. Perfect. Okay. See the front in there, and you can see the my frame rails. <laughs> this one over here is pushed in that way. That one over there is pushed out a little bit, so I've got to straighten those up. But for the most part, I have the headlight bar there going right down the frame rail, which is perfect. You see it there. So we measured that out. Measured that out, it's 26 and a half inches to the top, which is perfect. They look identical there. I think that one could have twisted a little bit more. And I may, I may do that real quick, I think I will. Now on this, because I can, I'm gonna tilt that, I'm just gonna roll it in just a little bit so I can heat it right behind that pocket. I don't have to heat the whole thing. So I'll just heat it right there behind that pocket and then I'll put the twist on it. Much better. Let's check our height again real quick. Should be 26 and a half. Still 26 and a half, so we're good there. Okay, there we go. We'll let that cool. And then our next our next thing will be to heat that and just pull that right on around. We'll just pull it straight on around. I think that'll give us plenty of room there. Come straight out. Let's see here. Get this fired up. I'm just gonna heat. I'm gonna heat the bottom right here, right above those carriage bolts, because that's where I want it to twist. I don't want it to twist up here or in the middle. I want it to twist right there. I'm get a little bit of propane there, so it'll heat it up going to keep that heat isolated down there to the just above those carriage bolts. It's going to take a little bit because that's kind of the fattest part of that uh, headlight bar there. It's about one inch right there, so it's going to take a little bit of heat. We'll just keep heating it until we get it done. And it's looking pretty good. Hopefully this will work, I don't know. I ain't never done that this before. And pulling it back a little bit, but we'll use that uh, 
they use that pipe break to straighten it all out. Yeah, she's red hot now. Put that down. Let's see if we can get this over here. Yep. I'll put a little pressure on that. There we go. Now I'm pushing it that way and I'm pulling it this way. push so while well, that's still hot fire it up again See, we've almost almost made it 90 degrees there, which is good. We are almost there. That looks pretty good there. Pretty darn good. I kind of like that. Let's grab that tip headlight and test it real quick. See what that looks like. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I dig that. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to heat that up a little bit and pull that forward and twist that to get that. See if you look at this bucket, see how that, see how that blister is, it's leaned back. So I've got the, i got the pocket here or the, um, what do you call it? The mount on the headlight bar. I've got it tilted flat. So it actually needs to be rolled forward. That way this will mount up there a lot better. So let's heat that up a little bit. I'll give it a little twist. I'm starting to break a sweat now. this time Let's see
Well, that, I'm gonna have to go a little bit further because that thing is moving. So let's go a little bit more. Yeah. Those look pretty nice. You see them? That looks pretty good. So we'll let that cool a little bit and then we'll heat that up right there. some bigger um, carriage bolts. Here, I'll show you one thing that I don't like. That last push I did on it, I pushed it pretty hard and pretty quick. If you do it quick, you'll see, I'm gonna take my glove off. Right there, how it's got a little bit of a stretch to it, right in that area. So, that's what happens when you go too fast, you get that. Which, it's gonna twist anyway, because you're, I mean, you're heating and, and twisting that metal. So, it's gonna, it's gonna do that naturally. But that, it's starting to pull it in, right in there, in that little spot. So, that's what I, what I was trying to avoid, but it'll be all right. They'll look all right on there. This one right here looks great. It didn't get twisted too fast. It was perfect. So now what I'll do is I'll take and I'll cut this off and I'll grind this to where that cup is the only thing left. So let's do that. Cut these off. They've cooled down pretty good. Pretty darn close. Yep. Look good to me. Let's see. Yeah, they look pretty good. Not bad. You guys wear your ear protection, would you? Don't try to be tough and think you can handle it. That squeal from those right there grinding will just eat your hearing up. My ears ring right now. They ring. At night when I go to bed, I can really hear it. So I'm giving you guys a heads up. Wear your ear protection, wear your eye protection. Oops, sorry. No flare action there. Wear your ear protection. Wear your ear protection, wear your eye protection. Save your hearing, because it sucks. I can hear a ring constantly, all the time. So I'm just thinking about you guys. That's nice enough. Probably if I cleaned up the rest of it, I could send that sucker off to chrome. This one's not getting any chrome, so. Let's cut this other one off and get it cleaned up. We'll mount those back up and get those headlights on there. I think that was done. I may hit that with the wire wheel after I get done with this, just to clean off all that. When you heat that up with the torch, you get a lot of little bubbles in the, you can see it there. Just a lot of little trash. Probably the impurities in it or the rest cooking, I'm not sure. We're gonna and that stuff, even though it looks like scrap. That's always good for spacers. If you need a, a good heavy duty spacer, it's got a seam in it. These probably are cast, they're pro or forged. They're probably forged actually in this middle part between these headlight mounts with a flat piece and then it gets rolled because you can see it's solid right there. And you can see that seam starts right about right in there and goes through and then it's hollow. So that's probably rolled over on itself somehow. I don't know how they did it. You would think they would just forge out a solid piece. I'm not worry about it, but that's how they did it. Somebody probably has the expert analysis on that, but I don't have it, so.
you go. They are Dunsky. Pretty darn close. They're almost identical. You can see in that there's a the forge line there where it's twisted there right down there at the bottom. <laughs> see how it comes up and comes around. That's kind of cool. So we'll get those mounted down. Oh, actually, man, those are almost right on the freaking money. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Not bad for old eyeball. A little bit off there, but that's all right. Let's put them on. Get the headlights and mount them up on here. And, uh, see what they look like. I think those will work. It would be kind of killer to add a Nerf bar style mount across here. I could come out and come over, put an S in the middle for Tom Sellers. That'd be kind of rad actually. Might have to think about that. I don't know how it would look with on that 34 grill though. So it may be something we, we might Photoshop it in and see what it looks like before we actually try to implement that if we decide to go that way. All right, headlight time. I'll have to run that die up on the threads, the little WD, and then I'll back it off and then I'll hit it again with WD. And what that will do is it'll clean off any of that crap that that die just cut. Heck, that don't look too bad. It might be a... Looks like my grill is crooked. My grill is down that way. And it needs to be pushed over that direction a little bit. Which, that's what happens when you're working with old parts like this. But, there's your headlight mounts. They look pretty nice. They're nice and clean. They mount up underneath the frame rail. And they'll work. That's the great part about it. Let's see where we're at. Right about 35 and 3 quarters. Let's see where this one's at. That was right about 35 and 3 quarters. So that's good. They're right on the money, same height. All right. Yeah, my grill is definitely crooked. I can see it down at the bottom. It's uh, it's closer over here than it is. It's covering this mount, and it's not that one, so. Yeah, that old whopper jog grill. You can see it's got a split there and a split there, so. It's been beat around, it's had a hard life. But anyway, there is your headlight stands. That's them, that's how you do it. That was a $1 headlight bar that I bought and cut it up, bent it around with a little bit of heat and the, and the, uh, uh, the torch and got it pretty close. So, looks pretty good. I think we'll have to go with that. There's the headlight mounts. You can do that at home. All you need is a torch and some pretty simple tools, a uh, cutoff wheel and a flat disc and you're done. You're ready to roll down the road. Now, if we can get this motor all done and get the body on, we will be good to go. So, hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment if you want. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Let's get back to work. See ya.